Hey, morning. Uh, just touching in with a quick review of the Harvard versus Northern's game from the weekend. Um, uh, Flab asked me to give my, my thoughts on it, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. Um, right, so Harvard coming away winners of that one, 29-5. Um, really was a, a, a shock. Um, I really was kind of expecting, I think everybody was expecting Northern's to be a bit more competitive, you know, to be a lot stronger. Um, I think earlier in the season, Northerns were kind of shaping up to be the powerhouse this season. I'm um, not sure what went wrong, not sure what challenges they're facing, but um, yeah, it really was not a good look for them. Um, sorry to say, you know, it, 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 not much worked, um, not much went well. Um, I know they may be having their own internal challenges. Um, maybe some of the experienced guys are no longer around and they're sort of rebuilding with this. Um, very young team they have, which I think is a good thing. Um, but yeah, not 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 much positives on that side. Um, uh, in terms of uh, any kind of standout um, areas of the game, uh, I'll be hard pressed to come up with something uh, to say that it really stood out and, and made a difference. Um, one particular thing that I, I uh, saw was that um, the jumper, long, tall guy at, at, who was jumping at number two, forget his name right now but um, forgive me for that um, you know he was stealing up some some line out ball and you know kind of looking like you know he really wanted it um, other than that you know not not much else works as I said so in that regard you know um, I just want to say that um, Trinidad rugby needs a strong Northerns rugby team um, uh, we need all teams to be strong of course but Northerns being the oldest rugby club in Trinidad. I think they're celebrating 100 years this year. Um, congratulations on that, Northerns. Um, but yeah, fraternity needs a strong Northerns team to, to you know, really uh, set the standard and, 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 and keep everybody um, on their toes and, and, and reaching for um, greatness. Um, having said that, Harvard, on the other hand, really did play uh, a good all-round game. I think they definitely bounced back well from that loss against Caribs. Sorry, I didn't get to see that game, so I couldn't um, give some some thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, definitely um, a better all-round game. Um, you know, the usual Harvard using the ball wide, using the speed and agility. Um, yeah, a lot of movement in the bats and so on, uh, but also incorporating some 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 good forward work. Um, quite a lot of opportunities where we, a lot of times where they were able to um, push over Northerns, which is, you know, that rarely ever happens. Um, but also scoring a, a nice line out, um, a mall push over try from the line out. Um, again, not traditionally our strength, traditionally Northern strength, and they were able to pull off a really well executed um, push over try from a, a line out. Um, the standouts, of course, again, would be uh, uh, Shaquille Dites and Nigel Ballington, who, I mean, these guys just continue to um, to, to do all the, the, the hard work for the team. Um, you know, and they are the ones kind of standing out and taking the ball by the horns and making stuff happen. However, I think um, this, this weekend's performance was a bit more all-round. Um, I think there was a lot of teamwork, a lot of um, team effort. Um, again, a lot of ball movement in the backs and so on. So, yeah, Harvard looked um, pretty good. Um, I know Coach Mendez has been um, working a lot on, on our set pieces. Um, they're doing extra days training, um, doing a lot of video reviews and really getting the young team that we have um, understanding their rules and functions a bit better. So that's really coming together nicely. Um, hoping to see... Um, Looking forward to see how it's going to develop um, in the next round because um, from from that victory on Saturday, I think um, Harvard has essentially qualified for the Big Four knockout competition. And I think ending up second in the league, which I'm not sure if that's official yet, but from the standings I saw, it looks like that is the case. So good job to both teams. Um, good job to both um um, the players that, that, that really went out and, and put their hearts out. Um, just want to add as well, um, I think it's quite evident that, you know, teams, all teams, Harvard, Northern Skybs, Orleans, Army, Police, everybody, 
all teams are lacking the basic fundamentals of the game. Catching and passing is 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 really poor among all teams. And I mean, I want to put this out to uh, all the, the club coaches. Um, not attacking anyone, not saying anything, but is it is an area of the game that that all teams seem to be um, uh, coming up short in. Um, the fundamentals, catching and passing, um, recognizing overlaps and, and, and the basic elements of the game, you know. Um, I think there needs to be a definite, um, concentrated focus on basics, getting the basics of the game right, you know. At the end of the day, if we're not doing it well at club level and schools level even um, before that, um, it, it is going to transcend to the national team, which as we all know, um, we, we see that when we, we come up against uh, strong opposition. Um, nationally so again not um, taking away from anything um, anybody's hard work but just saying again that we we do need to have a, a more uh, uniformed approach to, to, to coaching and teaching basics in, in at school and club level um, everybody needs to be on the same page so they want to be too repetitive so that's it from me um, yeah.